45 seconds left to go here in period number seven. And there is a tired Skinny Minnie Miller. Aaron, this is a real long period for both teams not to have scored. They're so evenly matched, these teams are just holding each other back from scoring. And down goes Juanita Ricardo. All right, Saberson now, and they start the chant here. Go, go, go. Saberson moving out now. This will be the final jam of the period. Back there, the Cats, uh, the Cats, Lucy Ponce of the Cats, still trying to get up on that track. Number seven, though, Saberson. We mentioned Ponce, a former Baltimore Washington Cat skater. But she's not doing very much up there right now as Severson is moving on the outside. There you see Ponce, she went right through her. Severson went right through, now she goes around Ricardo. With one second left to go, time runs out. And look up, the referee puts that big hand up, a grand slam, five points for Diane Severson. And what a job that was. That's gonna narrow the gap right now. 49 to 43, a six point lead now for the Liberators as we get set to move into period number eight, the final period of the game, with the men up on the track. And Aaron, that little referee went down. <laughs> Diane Severson just flipped him right over like he was a little toy. And there's a sign of victory as Paula Bear Rupert, a star in his own right, holding up the hand of his co-captain, Diane Severson. And there's number eight, Big Sherry Jackson. Diane Severson looking a little peaked right now, but she could use a little rest. 49-43 the score at the start of the eighth and final period in the first game of the semifinal playoffs between the Canadian All-Stars, the pennant winners, and Los Libertadores of South America. Los Libertadores presently hold a five-point lead. 49-43 over the Canadian All-Stars with the first jam underway. Yes, sir. And Aaron Rand, take it away. A six-point lead up on that scoreboard. Frankie Macedo, number four now, going to work along with the number 47. The flying chin strap, Ralph Valadares now, going to work on the jam. Macedo and Valadares. Those are not sideburns, those are chin strap. Now moving around, it's Valadares. Uh-oh, there goes the helmet. There goes the helmet now. It's Macedo in the lead, trying to get around him. Look at Rupert. And I want to tell you, a beautiful play that time by Frankie Macedo as he set up Ralphie Valadares. And there were points on that one. Let's see what the official says. Frankie four Macedo. Four points. The referee says four points. The gap is closing. The scoreboard shows they got eight points. That's what the noise was about here. The scoreboard has a score as the Canadians 51, the Liberators 49, and watch this on slow motion here. Look at Macedo, work Valadares up to the top, and Rupert just waiting for him. Goodbye, Valadares. Hello, Macedo on the inside, and he got some big points on that one. Well, what it was was eight points for the Canadians and four points for Los Libertadores. So the score remains presently with uh, Los Libertadores with a two-point lead, and that's quite a gap closing, leading the All-Stars 53 to 51. Only two points separating these teams. And folks in the Maritimes, on Sunday, the 25th of August, we'll be looking for you in the Edmonston Forum in New Brunswick, Tuesday, the 27th at Lord Beaverbrook Rink in St. John's, New Brunswick, for the first time on Wednesday, the 28th of August, in Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. All right, on the jam right now, going to work number one, Dennis Benson, there you see him. Picking up some speed as he moves up to the pack, number 41, Leroy Gonzalez, back there to block. Tricky little hip block that time. Benson staying up on his feet, however, still trying to move by, 30 seconds left to go turning around that time and Benson is upset. Whoa, he is going after number 41, Gonzalez. But he's not gonna go very far point-wise without a helmet on his head. Now Gonzalez grabbing him again. Benson looks like a futile effort from where we are. Look out, a bulldog right into the track and that has got to hurt. There is no doubt about it. Benson down and holding his head, and Barry, I want to tell you, this Gonzalez fella, don't mess around. No, he doesn't. Paula Bear mixing it up there with uh, 
Number 46 again, Carlos Marquez, the referee in there, and there's little Frankie Macedo. I'll tell you, Ottawa can be proud of Frankie. And in Ottawa on the 7th, August 7th, Wednesday, you're gonna get a chance to see Frankie as he skates around this, uh, the track with a sign of victory. He's famous for that sign of victory, Aaron. Yes, he is, uh, Barry, a very famous sign of victory. Right now, there you see a sign of pain on your screen as Benson got his head knocked into the rail. And I want to tell you, uh, I don't care how hard your head is, that uh, floor is made out of masonite and metal and whatever else. And uh, when you get your head put in on that, uh, you're going to feel it for a while. So Benson now on the bench taking a well-deserved uh, rest. And getting together right now on the jam, that's number six, Doug Dyer, moving out for the Canadians, followed by number 43, Henry Sahagun, moving up there for the Liberators. Sahagun now, along with Dyer, the two of them moving up now. Look at Sahagun using that leg from behind. Dyer in trouble, staying up though. Dyer still in pursuit. They've got 30 seconds left to go on the jam. Sahagun, look out, he's up on the rail. So Dyer, it looked like he was in that one for a while, but he came back and knocked Mr. Sahagun right out of the play. Now it's Dyer, the only Canadian up there, and he's trying to get some points. Gonzalez, number 41, doing the work at the back, trying to keep him from moving around that pack. They've got 30 seconds left to go. It's number six, Dyer. Look out. They got a hold of him. Marquez. Carlos Marquez. And now Gonzalez wants a piece of his head. Down he goes. 15 seconds left to go in the jam. There's Kelly trying to keep everyone else from getting out. Gonzalez holding on to him again. And look out. He tried the same thing. That's going to be all in the jam. And look at Dyer. Down on that track, he got the same treatment that Mr. Benson did. No preferential treatment from this Liberator team in Barria. We're really going to have to get moving. It's only a one-point lead now. 53-52, 4.40 left to go. 4.40, here it is in slow motion. Watch Lil Dyer go, and there goes 43. S I don't know how you pronounce Sahagun. that. Uh, Sahagun. Well, that's a uh, call him Henry. That's his first name, going right over. Here we are back to the live action. Peter Kelly and Benson there skating together. That Benson is another addition to the men's part of the team and a great addition he is. Got a lot of spunk. He skates like mad, gets out there and really fights. Four minutes and 10 seconds left. And uh, out there we're, for the first time, we're gonna be in Yarmouth, Nova Scotia on Wednesday the 28th. In the Halifax Forum, Thursday the 29th with these two teams in the semifinal series. Another first in Bridgewater Memorial Arena, Nova Scotia, Friday, August 30th. Then to the Centennial Arena, Kentville, Nova Scotia, Saturday the 31st. Another first at the Miners Forum, Lace Bay, Nova Scotia, Sunday the 1st of September. Well, there's big number 41. Leroy Gonzalez going around there. All right, Gonzalez. He's got the jamming helmet on, but he's slowing it down at the rear. He's not going to face Paul Libera alone. He wants some help back there. Rupert elbowing him in the head that time. There's Rupert. He's got a variety of moves to keep people from getting around on that pack. Gonzalez looking around for somebody to help him, but he's got no friends up on that track now, and Rupert's got a hold of him. And let's see. He's asking the fans, and they want it, and he got it. So Mr. Gonzalez getting a little of his own medicine. Rupert, though, what's he gonna do now? The bear hug, there it is! There's the bear hug, they've been waiting for it here. Look at the fans up on their feet. And Gonzalez down, and he won't be up for a while, Barry, I don't think. Number 46, Carlos Marquez didn't even move in. He just stayed back there, because he saw what Paul was doing, and when Paul gets that violent, you don't go near him. Uh, we'd like you all to come near them, though, at Plattsburgh tonight in the new Creed Memorial Arena. And there it is in slow motion, Paul putting him down. There he goes. I don't know if we get to see that bear hug, but look at him go down, Leroy Gonzalez. Thetford Mines, Friday the 9th. We'll be looking for you there. St. Hyacinth, the 10th of August, that's a Saturday. Paladis Four in Granby, the 11th Sunday, and La Chute. Monday, the 12th of August. These are the dates that this series will be played. It's a, it's a, a point series. All the points, the highest amount of points, the total points, will be the winners of this series, and they will go on to play 
The winners of the Western Series being played right now. All right, the fans here are going bananas for good reason. The Canadians have got the lead jammer up. They are only down by one. One minute, 30 seconds left to go. Macedo was out on the jam. It was cut off, and let's see the officials now discussing this one. One point for Frankie Macedo, and it is all tied up, Barry. 53 to 53. There's about enough time for one jam left, and we ought to remind you that if there is not enough time, if there is not 60 seconds, and the final jam is underway, even if the clock runs out, it will be completed. The last jam of the game will be completed, even if the clock runs out. Paul the Bear getting his team lined up, and there's the referee's whistle. Take away the last jam, Aaron. There's Paul the Bear now getting it on the move, and the fans here all on their feet as they wait for Paul the Bear to direct traffic, and there's that chant. Go, 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 it's Rupert. Let's see who gets out first. There's Washington, Sammy Washington, moving up for the Canadians. Washington on the outside, look at the fans here. Washington on the lead right now, 47, Valadares right alongside him. Valadares trying to take him out, and he does. Washington goes down, and now it's Valadares who has all the power. He's the only jammer out there, but he's got Paul LeVere Rupert to contend with. Rupert using the leg to block. Now Peter Kelly has got the helmet on. Kelly now trying to move up. Valadares blocking him out. Kelly staying on his feet. He's still moving. They've got a total of 10 seconds up to go. As they move around, Kelly now. Well, let's see. The clock ran out. The clock ran out on that jam. The referees now. Say there was one Canadian point. That is all they needed. The final score. The talk Latin about a happy crowd, Aaron. This crowd is on their feet. It's a standing ovation. There's the final score. 54-53, Canada won it. We'll be back with a recap and stars right after these words. 